interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters you've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the... Ready? Buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on that. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Try to establish that jab. Fourth we go here. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. All right, single collar tie now. Nice straight punch. There's no tail on that leg kick. Nice kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Felder's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Find a home for that right hand. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, you heard a bat with the jab. Wow. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And then he lands a nice over. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Ooh. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nice punch by Shore. and bunches. We don't say that all the time, but that has certainly been a big part of the narrative in this one as he lands yet another combination here in the clinch. He lands another uppercut combination in the clinch. He's doing a really good job of finding his spot. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Felder. Oh, huge connection on the flying knee, DC. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice. Grips the body there. Straight on my face. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? Go, go, go. Punch over the top. Nice leg kick there by Felder. Joyce's strike attempt there is blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Big kick. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pretty good jab there by Felder. Back and forth we go. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single back to a high crotch. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my John, last round? Absolutely rise? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, right in the mount. Felder's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big body kick land. Now he 
outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. I mean, he's cutting down the side with his beautiful leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done. We're off in the night. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee. He's done. He's done. Getting worse, absolutely nasty. Time, Two rounds time, in the books. No more, no more, no more, no more. Great job out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pants in the gym have paid off. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary slow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Back to the feet. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah? Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch by Felder. Oh, nice right hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Beautiful kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Clean left punch followed by the right. Sneaky head kick. Beautiful punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, the head snaps back. Another combination of uppercuts and the clinch right to the head. Notice how he's throwing his entire hip into every one of these punches. He is looking to shut the lights out. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Three minutes to go in round three. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw 
throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice. Delver has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC, you gotta be careful. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Oh, big punch land. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on his eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be another big down land. Felder's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. What a top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Beautiful strike. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Misses with the left hook. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield to try to push your opponent off Try to get back to your feet. Felders has got full mount now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. There's no give on that leg kick. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Felder going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Good punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big elbow there, Lance. Pretty strong jab there by Felder. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. I mean, how many can he take? Under a minute to go. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Oh! Never looked this good. Oh, no. How about those five minutes? All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dick Take the pace of that round. Final round, ready? Ready? Fifth and final round. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Nice one, two there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, 
goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Felder. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Straight punch lands. He's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big kick. Nice combination of strikes there by Felder. All right, so a nice combination sets up the takedown there. He is not a one-trick pony mixing up the martial arts beautifully tonight. He may have started as a wrestler, but you see now the finished product as he's able to throw those beautiful punches to set up the takedown. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Great punch. Real sneaky body kick. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Choi gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Right hand punch to the clinch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Felder. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he oh! Holy smokes! He put us to sleep! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. The Korean Superboy ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Felder gets back up again. Big kick land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. You got it. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages.